Hi, my name is Amanda Gustin, and I'm the Public Program Manager at the Vermont Historical Society. Today, I'm going to share with you some really charming objects from our collection. Uh, it's these selection of carved cows, or, or oxen. We have a number of different ones, all in the same style, some painted and uh, with sort of accessories, and some of them just plain with wood grain. These carvings were all made by a man named Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson was born in Varmland in Sweden in 1853, and in 1887, he moved to Proctor, Vermont. Now, this was a fairly typical immigration pattern at the time. The Rutland area was booming uh, in the 1870s and 1880s uh, with the attraction of the, the Proctor Marble Company. And the Proctor Marble Company did a lot of recruiting uh, among immigrants, either uh, bringing people over themselves or finding immigrant communities in that area to work in the marble carving business. Um, many of them had no previous marble experience, but they may have learned on the job. Eric Johnson in particular was a marble carver, so he spent his days carving marble, and in his spare time he carved these really wonderful wooden figurines. Eric Johnson worked for the Vermont Marble Company for 34 years. He retired uh, on a full pension. His son, Otto Johnson, became an historian of the Proctor and the Rutland areas and of the Vermont Marble Company. I think these carvings are particularly special because I think they have a nice folk art quality to them, and they're sort of interesting and that a man who had probably grown up on a farm but had come to work more in an industrial field as a marble carver was hearkening back uh, to choose agricultural themes for the things he was doing in his spare time. So the area where Eric Johnson grew up in Sweden is right next to the area where the famous dollar horses are carved and painted. So there may have been some cultural connection in his mind already before coming to America and then carving these, these wonderful uh, cows. It doesn't seem like these were toys. Uh, they don't really have the kinds of wear patterns that we might associate with something that was loved on by children for many years, but they are very smoothly done. They could be handled um, without, without splinters or anything like that. They were polished quite beautifully. Um, particularly uh, this one to reveal the wood grain. Eric Johnson was part of uh, a huge wave of Swedish immigration to the Rutland area in the 1870s and 1880s. Almost overnight, the population went from a couple of dozen people of Swedish origin to hundreds and hundreds of people of Swedish origin. In fact, there are still place names in Proctor and Rutland today that have Swedish origin, and people who grew up in the early part of the 20th century in Rutland and Proctor will tell you that there were neighborhoods that spoke exclusively Swedish at the time. There were a couple of Swedish Lutheran churches um, that had Swedish language services as well. Thanks for joining us today. To learn more about the collections of the Vermont Historical Society, make sure you check out vermonthistory.org and follow the Vermont Historical Society on social media.